So we have been visiting offices today of the 62 Democrats who joined with Re Republicans in voting for an amendment that says that the U.S. government can no longer keep using statistics on deaths that come out of the Gaza Ministry of Health. The Gaza Ministry of Health is the only institution that has been documenting this. It's been a reputable source for decades. The UN uses it, even Israeli ministries have used it. It's been cited um, by our federal government and by these Democrats stating that they no longer want the Biden administration and State Department to have this data. We are essentially stating we now want to provide the weapons, but we don't want any accountability for what happens. This is erasure. This is genocide denial. I'm concerned about the loss of life, the dehumanization of the people of Palestine. I'm concerned about my tax dollars being spent um, to destroy a population of people. And um, today we've been walking around talking to staff members and they've listened, taken notes and hopefully we're having an influence. And those of you out there who can't make it over to DC, I hope that you are also um, finding ways to take action um, around this issue because we're all complicit in what's happening. So I am here to speak out for justice for Palestine, for a free Palestine, for a liberated Palestine and for peace.